I'll weed less shad back on for a bit then until we get somewhere a bit less um, shallow. Oh, I can't feel my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> First actual hit today. Oh, I've got the weedless on, so I missed it. No way. <laughs> Filthy water here as well, but I managed to get a hit on the shad. Look at that, I smashed it head first. That. <laughs> wow. See if we have to come back for it. I'm in like two, two. There we go. I've got it. Yes. Oh, it's not bad time for He's running at me. Yes. That's a decent fish. Oh. Nailed it at first. Then come back for it in the shallow water. Yes. I'm just trying to get a net on him quick. I don't want him to run into the boat. Oh, that's so cool. Yes! First fish on the kayak, that's a decent one. Come on, come on, quick. Yeah, we're in like three, three four water. There we go. Oh, smashed it. On the weedless hook, like actually hit the head of it first. Came back and nailed it again. Ran at me. That's not a bad fish, that first place. Hook's come out in net. <laughs> Look at that. Weedless goby shad, 20 centimetre. See where that hit head first absolutely destroyed the head of it and yeah. It's not huge but it's, it really is fat. Get a uh, get my camera set up real quick and show you. Not not the longest of fish, but for this particular water that I am on, it's very fat. So I'm happy, <laughs> I'm happy with that. Grip on it. Uh, strong fish, that's for sure. Oh, there we go. There's my first pike on the kayak. It's not massive, but up a really good scrap, 20 centimetre go we shed. Get this guy put back. The 
There he goes. <laughs> so sweet. <sighs> Little wet knee now from me and on wet bottom, but stoked to get a fish on this. Oh, there we go, 20 centimetre gobi shad, rigged with a EWG offset up. Not a huge fan of fishing weedless lures, but uh, sometimes you kind of have to on places like this where it's very shallow and weedy. But yeah, lucky that came back for it then, to be fair. Absolutely smashed it both times and hooked him up second time. Not a huge fish, maybe six seven eight pound ish not long but had a right belly on it so could be this could be where the bait fish are hiding uh and if so there should be a few more fish around in theory i'm glad that um got all the you know could see this layer in this colored water as well always good First fish of the day. Thought I were on for a blank then, but we got one. Good thing about where I'm fishing here is uh, not many people lure for shit, and at the end I'm at now, you've got no bank access, so you are. A lot of times, if the fish miss, they are going to come back for the lure. So that's always good. I mean, they're proper not feeding today, but. Managed to get one. <laughs> Hopefully, get a couple more now. I'll lose some more action anyway. There we go. Another one. Oh, it's off. I didn't really get a hook set on that, but another fish. Not too far from where I had that last one then, but I'm not sure that'll come, that definitely felt the hook, that one, but. Oh, nice to get another one hit. Did not get a good hook set then. Oh, yes. Oh, he's going for it. <laughs> Whoa, such a strong pike. <laughs> oh. Can't mess with my clutch too much on this. Can't move my fingers. This guy is insane. <laughs> Just ripped off with it then. And he's in the net. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger than that last fish, I'd say. Sweet as, it's like a greeny colored pike, what? Right, guys, just got my second pike to the kayak. Super sweet looking fish. Another thick fish. There we go. Slightly bigger than that last one, I'd say. Yeah, I'm happy with that. <laughs> Proper like, very thick, nice greener colours. M might be a double figure pike that to be fair. It's not the longest, but yeah, thick. I'll show you that as well. That's one of the reasons why I don't like using singles. That's proper just torn straight through the top of its mouth, that. I know a lot of people think singles are better than trebles, but not in the case of pike, in my opinion. Let's do it back. Hopefully get some more. See you bud. Go be shot again. <laughs> so good.
Not sure if that was the same one that came back for it then, but absolutely steep off with it. And it rock. So cool. Let's turn the drag back up. Really, <laughs> really aggressive hit that. Oh, but yeah, I did a bit of, did, did a bit of damage to its mouth, so hopefully get a bit deeper soon I can change back to trebles, but then again it might be the spin of wide on this EWG hook that's actually making him go wild. So I've not had any interest on any other lures. I like I use these gobies when I first started, no interest as soon as I start fishing with this spinner blade one. It's getting hammered. But yeah. Feel a bit more confident that there might be some decent fish up there with how chunky those ones have been. A lot bigger than what I normally catch out of this drain. Normally really really skinny fish but yeah they were chunky. And very aggressive as well. So super cold. Hopefully dropping a couple more. good as well. Oh he's going mad like a jack actually. <laughs> yes. Hopefully the hook won't pop. Uh, yeah his swallow is inhaled. Oh, no. <laughs> oh about the same size as the other tortoise but he's absolutely annihilated that word. Out nearly. Cuts there. God damn. that one. Hopefully my camera's still on. Ooh, that's a chunky fish. Don't go under the boat, don't go under the boat. <sighs> that guy's not sure I recorded myself landing that one. Because my camera was just about dead. But another pike, that's fourth one today. Absolutely nailed Gobi Shadow just twitched out some weed and he just Absolutely smashed it. Proper fat fish with absolutely caked and leeches. If you can see. I added a stinger hook to the, this. And yeah, he's got that one. Right there. Oh, the plan is happening. No chance that will come in an octo. A good job as well because I had a really poor upset on him in there. Uh, a proper rush towards me. He's upside 
that and then I'll get a look at him. Chunky fish again. Not the longest again, but some meat on it. So yeah, well happy with that. Go be shot again. Spinning round's got a right juicy got a scar on that side actually, but it's a very juicy scar there. So, yeah, another nice looking fish. <laughs> Very happy with that. Easy double, nice fat one, but yeah, fourth one today. I'll get it put back. Nice chunky. You're free. There he goes. <laughs> Sweet fourth fish, and they've all been decent size as well. Again, Gobi Shad, uh, weedless rigged, just so I've got the spinner on it still, and uh, I've had a little sting on the top as well. That's what that one was hooked on. Just like that. Still pretty weedless, but yeah, that was sweet. I don't think I'd have landed that if I just had the weedless hook. Just as soon as it hit it, it ran towards me, and uh, yeah, couldn't really get a hook set, but we got him. <laughs> Oh sweet, oh, it's nearly dark now, well, probably half an hour uh, daylight left, so not a huge amount of time to fish, but hopefully I can get another one caught. <sighs> Should have come up here straight away this morning. I had like three hours lower down on the drain and didn't have a touch, didn't see a fish, and now I've had four in four or five minutes-ish, so yeah. I'll start up there next time though, for sure. <laughs> Bigger fish than, than what I normally get out of this drain as well, which is cool. Nice to see some better ones in. Gobi Shad's absolutely nailed now. Shredded, but... I've got like 10 of them, so it's not really too bad of a problem. Oh, that's heavy. Oh, it's off. <gasps> no. I dragged my two. <laughs> I felt well heavy, that one. God damn. Right, the hook slipped on the hook steps. Uh, the fish was too big. Yeah, this was just sting on it. God damn it. Wasn't on long for long, so there is a chance that I might come back for it, but I doubt it. We'll 100% felt them ox in. Flat line than that little guy. That's a different fish. <laughs> uh, nailed him. Pop a slat liner. Oh, that's a bit <laughs> Got both hooked in his wife again. And there we go. That's fish number seven. Four big ones, well, decent sized ones, and just started catching jacks now. I've got a bit further down. Now it's just about to get dark as well. I've started catching loads of fish, which is annoying. There we go. Pike seven. 
all of them on the goby. Really do like these shads, you know. This lures like some hammock. Oh. Have to call it, I think. But well, we've got 10 minutes to it's dark and I reckon it's going to take that one to get back to where I'm parked. So I don't want to be getting out of water on this in, in the uh, pitch black. So yeah, I'm going to call it bomb back. If I see any like fish chasing around, I'll do cast it in. But other than that, that's all we're going to be at today. So yeah, maiden voyage on the e rider. Loved it. <laughs> caught seven pike, which is most I've caught in quite a while. Um, all on this goby shad. First three weedless, next rest of them with this uh, singer rock. But yeah, right. Uh, very slow start. First three hours, no fish, and then after that, last two hours, I've had seven. So. Yeah, just about finding them at this time of year. And uh, this kite makes it a lot easier to do that, so... Yeah, I'm happy I got some fish caught. Definitely be back on here again, innit? Uh, I don't know if I mentioned, but that top end where I was, zero bank access, so... It's, uh... Yeah, only me all the fishing up there. So, there's... Could be a chance of some good fish. But anyway... I call it that bomb back to the van and uh yeah catch you guys in the next video so hope you've enjoyed make sure you subscribe if you haven't train coming uh, i'll catch you next time